This is a demonstration of the TBM IC Mark V ion chamber, which measures gamma and X-ray radiation. It detects alpha and beta radiation as well. The use of an ion chamber survey meter is one of the most accurate ways to measure gamma radiation. Other detectors, such as Geiger-Muller and scintillation, tend to overrespond, especially with lower energy gamma. Geiger-Muller detectors can overrespond by up to 450%, and sodium iodide detectors can overrespond by up to 800%. Ion chambers such as the TBM IC Mark V have a relatively flat energy response, providing a more accurate measurement of gamma X-rays in the mid to high range energy spectrum. The instrument even detects low energy gamma X-ray axially below 5 kiloelectron volts. When gamma radiation passes through the walls of the ion chamber, the air inside becomes ionized. These ions flow to the anode and cathode because of the bias voltage. The current is amplified and converted to pulses. The pulses are accumulated each second and sent to the digital display. The number of pulses accumulated is one count per second for one milliroentgen per hour. The instrument consists of a 2.5 inch diameter by 5 inch long air ion chamber coupled to a stable solid state MOSFET input electrometer. The electrometer is essentially drift free. The ion chamber survey meter features an 8-digit digital display yielding dose rate and total dose in microsieverts per hour and microsieverts respectively. Millerentkins are available for U.S. domestic use. This RUC stands for rate mode. The range in rate mode is 1 microsievert per hour to almost 100,000 microsieverts per hour. The response is relatively fast. We easily switch to integrate mode with the select switch. The sensitivity is better in integrate mode with 0.1 microsieverts to almost 1 million microsieverts in a single range. The total dose measured is added up cumulatively. Use a stopwatch or timer to determine how long the integrate buffer has been running. The unit features a compact lightweight design. It only weighs 26 ounces or 737 grams. For gamma x-ray survey, we keep the beta shield on. If we remove the beta shield, we see a thin mylar window, which is 2 inches in diameter and 0.5 milligrams per centimeter squared in density. It's very fragile, so be careful. I will now demonstrate the use of the ion chamber with a 10 microcurie cesium-137 source. The detector cap is on. With this geometry, the unit is sensitive, omnidirectional to gamma and x-ray radiation. In rate mode, I will place the source on top of the air chamber. After a few moments, we see the dose rate is a little under 100 microsieverts per hour. Changing to integrate mode, press the select control on the left. We will now be able to see the total dose over a given time period. First, we reset the integrate buffer to zero. Start the timer, and we see the unit counting. You can switch between rate and integrate modes without affecting the readings by pressing the select control. At 60 seconds, the counts are 1.7 to 1.8 microsieverts. Now we will have a look at alpha and beta detection. First, we remove the detector cap, which serves as a beta shield. We are using a weak thorium-232 source in rate mode. We assume the activity of this source is approximately 33 nanocuries. This reading represents alpha and beta emission. It does not quantify the actual dose. The range on the survey meter isn't low enough to pick up background gamma radiation, so we know it's mostly alpha and beta. To detect alpha, the source should be less than a half inch or 12 millimeters from the window, as alphas are stopped by more than 12 millimeters of air. A single piece of paper will stop the alphas to isolate beta emissions, yielding a reading of 20 to 30, which is not a quantification, only an indication of beta particles emitted. Let's have a look at the other controls and indicators. This LED light flashes green and pulses as the count rate increases. It flashes red for overrange. This control, the 10 turn dial, is used as fine tuning to zero the instrument if the readings appear too high or too low. This red control is for battery test. 
Pushing the control, we see that the battery is OK if the light activates. Here are some applications where the TBM IC Mark V ion chamber is used. Nuclear research laboratories and universities for experiments that require accurately measuring a total dose of gamma radiation. Another common use of the ion chamber would be for inspection repair services, which involve checking for leakage in the X-ray and imaging devices. Such devices can be found in airports, hospitals, nuclear medicine laboratories, gamma knife departments, linear accelerator facilities, and in industrial applications where X-ray devices are often used for scanning vessel integrity and welds. This ion chamber is priced much lower than competing brands, making it a good value. Options include software and the X-ray SLV compliance sleeve with the 10 cm square aperture. Specifications and ordering information can be accessed by following the links provided in the video description.